Hello my friends, I'm in my greenhouse and I want to point out a couple plants or at least one plant and it's this one. It's a small plant and it's called radium weed and the plant is poison and I have it growing in my greenhouse here along food. However, a plant is either a medicine or a poison and what determines the difference is the dose at which you take it. Now this plant, it's uh, the scientific name, I can't pronounce but I'll post the name. It's uh, called radium weed and a friend of mine, um, his father passed away from skin cancer and he has it all over him and he had surgery and let's go down here he had surgery to remove large sections on his head and face here's some more you see my little skull and crossbone in there uh, if you look real close you can see it's in flower and make seed you can I can't see it it's too small for me but anyway back to the father or uh, the friend he had surgery and uh, removed large sections and they gave him a little salve in a very little tube and the tube cost a thousand dollars and it's enough for one small spot and one week application now when we looked up the ingredients of this salve, and the salve does work, it's the 96 or 98 percent of the ingredient is this radium weed. And it's used in uh, Australia. It's common there. And it is invasive in this country, but I've never seen it growing anywhere and the size depends on the amount of sunlight, the soil condition, and uh, some if it's in bright light it'll be a smaller plant, but the uh, inside the, it's concentrated a little more strong. Uh, young, or the plants growing in the shade, they're uh, bigger plants, uh, but they're not quite as potent. Okay, the way you use this, this will affect uh, cancer cell, but it won't hurt healthy skin. It might irritate it a little bit, but it won't do anything to it. If you get the sap in your eye, it may blind you, so it is poison. Uh, but what you do is you take a pinch of the stalk. I'm not going to take a lot because it's valuable. This plant would be worth a thousand or so dollars right there you see that little drop you only need one drop and you apply it to the spot that you're trying to cure or eliminate twice a day once in the morning once in the evening now I have used this on myself you can see right on the plant uh, the drop I uh, used it on myself and uh, on a couple spots well more than a couple uh, two spots it reacted and the first day uh, you don't feel a lot, maybe a little bit of itching. Second day quite a bit of itching. By the third day uh, it feels like you might have got a burn from a soldering iron. And what it does then is it is reacting, it's causing that area to be like a wound. Um, it starts pussing and it'll continue doing that for a week after a week it starts scabbing over and then it's no longer effective putting it on because it can't go through that scab after the second week with that scab the scab comes off and that spot that you were treating is gone it is an amazing plant and I'm trying to get it propagated I'm giving it to all my friends trying to get them to uh, get the plant growing and uh, you can't buy it here um, I ordered the seeds from Australia and here's the pack that it came in 
and uh, the plants they sell over there it's real cheap and the seeds I can't remember what I paid but you gotta wait a while for them to get here um, and they're very small um, these drop the seed and I'm over at these plants because if you look real close you'll see those real little green sprouts those are new plants coming up that from these seeds that drop in here and the reason I set them here was so that they would drop into these grow beds and I have them in my greenhouse so I can monitor the plant and control it and get it propagated and I'm going to continue trying to spread this plant around now let me show you I saved some of the seed and my eyes aren't real good so these are very small and you can see in there how little those guys are so I've never seen a, a seed come off of these plants and I never seen a flower I think the flower is green I think I believe this is in flower and that's all the bigger they get but uh, they will drop their seeds and continue to propagate and I will post a link or try to post a link of where these seeds can be purchased and I'll also post the name and it, this the slang name is radium weed if you access the YouTube channel and look up radium weed you'll see some videos of people in Australia using this plant and it is an amazing plant especially if you have melanoma the skin cancer well thanks for watching my friends bye bye